Regarding the S34 intakes that were teased, how will they keep out hot engine bay air? With the heat shield. Yeah, so there is a heat shield, and then the heat shield goes very close to the hood. So there's a very small space between the top of the heat shield and the hood. And all of our S34 intakes, in fact, all of our intakes, use the factory cool, fresh air uh, provision to allow cool ambient air to come around the air filter. Um, APR is da has a DAZA intake where the air filter is just sitting in the engine compartment. Th that's dubious to me. That's We would never do that. We're always going to offer a shield to direct cool air where it needs to go. The reality is the APR one probably works okay because when you're moving, your engine compartment is filled with cool front uh, air from the front end. So remember, the full front of your car is, is open. Um, and designed to draw air into the engine compartment and, and um, move air th through the engine compartment and down underneath the car to help cool the engine bay. If your engine bay was a sealed, you know, air volume, it would just overheat very quickly. So air has to flow through the radiator and move down underneath the car. Um, and, and it, you know, everything in the engine is producing heat. Heat is escaping, so, so there's airflow moving. The same goes for uh, the intake. Even if you had an air filter sitting right next to the engine over the transmission in a very hot spot, uh, it's still not going to be as bad as one might think because when the car's moving, uh, it's the same thing like if you're sitting on a, on a 90 degree day in a parking lot with your windows up, you will literally die after about two hours, maybe three hours, you'll die. But if you if you're going sixty miles an hour and you roll the windows down, you will you will live forever. You know as long as you would live, um, because you know air is moving through the car. So it's the same thing with the engine compartment. I think there's there's a, a lot of you know hyperbole around cold air intakes and things like that. Um, you know, so I, it you can it doesn't take a lot of work like like what we do to ensure that the majority of air coming in is cool. But you don't need to seal the intake from the engine mm -hmm. compartment. That's also not required. And if you're really concerned about your intake air temps, then make sure you have an upgraded intercooler. Those are going to show way more for intake air reduction yeah. or temp reduction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And sure your, you know, your cooling system is, is operating correctly. And, and then the, the intercooler is what's actually going to cool the air going into your motor. But none of our intakes have hot air problems at all. Even when the car is stopped, there's very little hot air getting in there.